Are you someone who answer questions properly in exam but still don't get the marks you expect? Or are you someone who get the highest marks in your internal exams but usually someone else take the lead in the external one? So why does it happen in spite of good preparation and how to get good marks in our examination? Assalamu alaikum everyone. I am Dr. Hina, the voice behind Dr. Teeth and this platform is dedicated to your welfare. Here, I create helpful videos for you all so do consider subscribing to my channel to join a lovely community. I would also recommend you to join channel membership to watch our premium videos. So without further ado, let's talk about today's topic. Now we all have been hearing the phrase the first impression is the last impression, isn't it? Though in dentistry, the first impression is most of the time not the last impression, but at least in examination, especially the external one, the only thing you can portray to the examiner is your answer copy, right? So the first impression does matter here, okay? So here comes the answer to the problem that most of you might be facing, that you're not getting the marks you expected. When we have internal examiners, they know us, right? They know how studious we are. So just by having a look at your name and the answer sheet, they can already have an impression that you might have written well. But if the examiner is external, okay, he doesn't even know your name, let alone how much hard work you have done the entire year. So getting less marks in the exam where we are totally new for the examiner could mean that something is not right about the content or our presentation. Some other challenges include time management during exams and having a bad handwriting. Many of my friends could not attempt all the questions because of lack of time. I myself have faced handwriting issues in my first year BDS, which I managed to overcome by practice. So these are however separate topics. So if you want me to cover these as well, like how you manage your time during the exam or how you improve your handwriting, let me know in the comment section below for a follow up video. Now let's move on to some of my best tips to get good marks by having a good presentation of your answers. Okay, so we are going to divide our answer format based on quality and quantity. In the quality, we will be having a look at the structure of the answer, its visual appeal and neatness. In the quantity, we will be having a look at the details and value. Now, if you have to remember this and if you want to visualize this, imagine a human body. What is it made up of? Our human body has bones, that is the skeleton. And then we have a muscle, right? We have muscles. And then on the top of it, we have the skin, right? So that makes up a human, okay? That's a general, you know, visualization. So we can visualize our answers as a human being, okay? So the structure that will be the skeleton of our answer and then the details and value that will be the muscle okay muscle mass you are giving the details and value to our skeleton right and then we have the skin of the answer which corresponds to the visual appeal and the neatness so we need to have all the elements in our answer in order to get good marks so i would recommend you to watch this video till the end for in-depth idea of how the answers should be framed let's begin with quality start all your answers as if you are a shop owner and you are dealing with a customer that is you have to show that the stock you have is the best in the market that is your answers are the best you have to attempt to show this okay don't bring negativities okay so now you are in the exam and now you have to attempt your best and take care of all those you know elements of our answer quality quantity even if in some answers the quality is not very good but still you have the other elements like the you know visual appeal neatness structure okay you can still manage to get good marks okay so let us start building our answer the first thing what we're going to do is to build our skeleton. Now, how we frame our answers is very important. Like depending on whether it's an essay type question or short notes, we need to quickly analyze what all information should be written in the answer. For a typical essay type, we can start with intro, definition, then main answer, which preferably should be point wise and can include headings, subheadings, 
and diagrams and then the conclusion right and for short answer you can straight jump to the main topic after a brief introduction this too can preferably be point wise so this is when you know the answers well just in case you feel you don't know enough about the topic you can write something related and in paragraph you know what i mean top secret now after our skeleton is made we will move on to building the muscles that includes detail and value we need to focus on the body mass that is adding details valuable details to our answers this depends on how well you have read your subject and here the core concepts what we call the basics are very important that is why here on dr teeth i have always given a lot of importance in building your concepts before going into the complexity of things don't rush in writing everything you know especially in the first page of your answer because if the examiner gets a vibe that you are just filling pages trust me he has the right to cut more marks so the first page should focus on hitting the target that is answering the question in the most straightforward way without beating around the bush yeah in the second page and so on we can write other details which might not be very important to include but still will give an impression that yes you know a lot about the topic now here make sure you manage your time very well you cannot keep on writing without noticing the time limits if you want to know how i managed my time during my dental exam let me know in the comment section below and i can share that with you so first few questions have to be your best one in terms of quality and quantity if your university allows changing the sequence of answering feel free to attempt the questions you know best first but it would be preferable if you keep the essay that is the long questions together and attempt the short ones together i mean to say that keep the same category together even if you shuffle the numbering like you can answer the second question before the first or third question before the second but still keep the category together like keep all the long answers together keep all the short answers together be very careful about numbering your answers right numbering is very important especially in cases where we are shuffling it okay now after building the muscles we come to the skin that's the visual appeal and neatness now the visual appeal has many elements this is what i like to follow okay so make margins on the left hand side okay and also keep a little margin on the right hand side some students try to be very clever and they make very wide margins just so that they can fill more pages that is stupidity don't do that nobody is fool not to understand what you're trying to do by leaving so wide margins okay so make margins sufficient enough on the left hand side and on the right hand side okay then your answers should include headings subheadings with different color pen or in bold okay then we have to answer point wise start getting in a habit of writing big letters means make your handwriting a little big so that you know it gives an impression that you know a lot of content is there if your handwriting is very small that can be an issue so try to write a little big okay we have to underline and highlight important sentences so these are the key sentences you would like the examiner to look for like you know you have to attract the examiner to have a look at those points just by highlighting or underlining it coming to diagrams which are very important many students neglect this saying that my drawing is not that good and many other excuses like i cannot remember diagrams and so on but you know what i used to do was to imagine and make diagrams and flow charts of my own in my exams if they were not available in the textbook you also can easily do this if you make a habit of visualizing and understanding your subject trust me there is no need of remembering complex diagram flow chart you will be able to make your own in the exam so except for those like where we have to mug up like the classification the complex names you can make your own simplified flow charts of any pathological process you know anything depending on what type of answer it is you can make your own flow chart okay like if you have watched my other videos you can relate that i try to understand the topic 
and I relate it with a simplified diagram. So that will help you not only remember the theory, but you can also make those diagrams and get yourself more marks. Now here, kuch bhi mat bana lena. It can be simple yet theoretically or anatomically correct. Okay. So now we are done with our whole answer. Our entire human is ready. We have the skeleton. Okay, we have the bone mass and we have also given it a beautiful skin. Okay, and by the way, his name is Doofy and you might see him soon in our upcoming videos. Top secret, by the way. If you like this video, do leave me a word of motivation in the comment section below. Like and share this video so that it can be helpful for everyone who is about to give an exam. So I hope you found the video helpful and if you did, do leave a like on this video and also comment below and let me know your thoughts about it. You can also follow me on my Instagram to stay in touch with me. So good luck for your exams and Allah Hafiz.